My name is Angela Flowers. My name is Rhonda Flowers. My job is um, helping homeless families, homeless veteran families. I'm actually a social worker. I currently work with uh, children in the foster care system, and I'm also working on my doctorate, and um, my emphasis is working with homeless families. I actually have over 20 years of experience working with homeless families, including women, men, and children. What I think is the main cause of homelessness? Um, well, in the field, I realize that one of the main causes of homelessness is mental health and also the lack of uh, job opportunities um, in our county. There are quite a few reasons for um, homelessness. One, there's lack of affordable housing. As you know, we live in California, which is one of the most expensive states. And um, a lot of people are not able to make enough money to rent these um, very expensive housing apartments and homes. And why do you think mental health affects their ability to sustain a normal life? Well, because of the types of mental illness that um, manifest in a lot of these uh, veterans, they're able, unable to stay in housing because of their PTSD, which what it, what it does is a lot of them are unable to stay inside a housing because of the experiences that they've had in close proximity, living in close confinement. What's your biggest concern with homelessness? What is my biggest concern regarding homelessness? Well, the biggest concern for us is the lack of housing in the LA County itself. They're very, real estate is very, very expensive. And because it's so expensive, their landlords and uh, management companies intend to jack their prices way up when they have actually addressed a lot of their issues we try to find um, affordable housing which again like i've mentioned before is very hard especially in california and a lot of our veterans are unable to sustain housing because their income is so low so if they can't find income uh low income they have to find um section eight my biggest concern with homelessness is that we are slowly moving from a generation that was once stable to a generation that's homeless. Over the years, the homeless population has increased. Actually, in one night, there is 560,000 homeless people um, on the street. That's a whole lot. And a lot of these um, people are children. And so if we're having homeless children, we're in jeopardy of having homeless youths. And from homeless youths, they become homeless adults. So the biggest problem is, is actual physical housing. What is the process of finding housing for homeless children and families? Um, the process can uh, vary if it depends on what the family's needs are. Some people may just need housing. Other people may need mental health and housing. Some other, other families or people may need housing um, and employment. So it depends on what the needs of the family are. The process can be very different. And the process may be long. Sometimes it can take a year or more, or sometimes it can take six months. So it depends on what the needs of the families are. And what's the most rewarding part about your job? For me, the most rewarding part, of course, is having someone, um, well, actually having someone walk up to a place and say, this is my home. They have a key and they can turn that key in the door and say, I have a place to stay. A lot of our families and a lot of people have been on the streets for so long. The most rewarding part about my job is when a veteran finds housing and everything goes smoothly and the landlord works with us and we're able to get that individual into housing in, in a very short time and you know, they're stable and they come back and they let us know, well, 
everything's working out for me and you know thank you and the fact that there's actually a program that's willing to stand up with them and stand behind them is is very rewarding for I'm pretty sure myself and all my my co-workers and so when a, when, a, when a mother comes to you and say hey um, I don't have to you know go go to the laundromat and and, and sit there for days and, and act like I'm doing laundry because I need a place to sit or I need a place to, to stay or um, they come to me and say hey I, I, I am glad I don't have to sleep in, with my kids in the bath public bathroom anymore um, they actually have rooms I have been in um, homes where the kids are like oh my god I have a I have a bed I have a room and I don't have to you know sleep at the train um, station that is the most rewarding a part of my job to actually see people happy to be in housing because there's a big misconception that people who are homeless want to be homeless and is that is so far from the truth